Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody today? Um, it's a beautiful day here in Ohio. Uh, it's going to be cold. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I, I've got weird things going on with my apron. I, oh, I turn that down. Let's see if I can get out of this. My phone, which I use for close-ups, has the volume on for some reason, which is kind of weird. And I don't want it to do that echo thing, and I thought I had it fixed. There's always something, right? Sound mode, volume. Let's get rid of everything. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Let's get back in here. You know, I always think that I am totally set up and ready to go before you guys get here. And um, and then something happens. <laughs> and I don't. All right, what's going on? Back in here. Oh, it's, 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 I hate this thing. Uh-huh, I see it. Okay, it looks good. Okay, it looks good. <laughs> so sorry. Hello. Hello to everyone who's joining after the fact, after the live. Thank you so much for coming. Um, I, I swear to you that I turned off the sound and I swear I still hear it. Um, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I do appreciate everybody being here. And hey, Julie, thanks for coming. Yeah, I was talking to myself again this morning. Oh my gosh, I can hear it. It's driving me nuts. Last night, my live on my other channel, um, I have a do not disturb on my phone. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, but I can hear my other. Gosh, darn it. It's the in-call volume that it won't turn off. I'm just going to have to try to ignore it. I don't think it's causing any feedback problems, so that's hopefully a good thing. Well, hi, Jazzia. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I hope I said that right. Or Jazzia or Jazzia. Um, if that becomes a problem. You guys might even hear it. I tried everything. I turned the volume off. I wonder if I can turn. Let's see. I can't stand it. It's one of those things. Anyway, this morning, I do have something planned for you. Let's see. Let's try that. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. All right. Anyway, I do have something fun planned. Um, I decided rather than do a single. Oh, let's see if it stays on again. Does anybody else have? Samsung with the stupid Dixie. I hate it. And I have a feeling that it's still going to do its thing. I turned off the volume, but I think it has something to do with, um, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not, oh, I can still hear it. Oh, it's driving me nuts. Oh, well. Um, it's distracting to me. I'm very easily distracted. Um, so hopefully we don't have a problem. And I don't remember it being that much of an issue the last time. I'm going to have to come up with a really good solution and then write it down and remember what it is for each time that I do it. I normally don't use two cameras. So right now I have this one going on, which is my up close camera. And that's where I hear the, um, the stuff. And I don't like it. Um, but anyway, so I do have something fun get planned for you guys today. We're going to work a little bit on a collage and a, diff, a kind of a different format, the way I like to do it anyway. And um, 
I'm going to do the drawing. So those of you that are here last week, I mentioned that I hit my 500 subscribers here on my art channel. So that was very exciting. And I decided to do a little uh, drawing as a result. So I am doing a drawing today for this piece of artwork. And that's going to be interesting. I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do it. I might have to bring up my tablet so I can do it on my tablet because what I have to do is I have to go back to the actual um, YouTube post for this, um, for the drawing, because, and those of you that don't know, New England Thrifter and Jazz, yeah, I don't know if you are aware um, about the drawing, but if you want to get in, <laughs> I'll send you over there now. Last week, live, um, if you commented on that live and said that you wanted to win this, you can win this. Um, that's where I'm going to go in a little bit after I figure out how to do it. Um, I'm going to put my tablet over there. Anyway, this is the little collage. It will fit in a standardized, standardized frame, but it's about two and a half by three and a half inches in diameter. Um, but that's the little collage. And we're going to make a collage very similar to this in my, my process anyway today. That's what we're going to work on. Um, anyway, yeah, this is my phone for the close-up camera. And I can't, it's, the sound that I'm hearing is the in-call volume for some bizarre reason. That's what it does for the live and I've turned off all the notification sounds and everything and I can't figure out how to turn off the in-call volume and my rockers on the side don't seem to be working. It takes it down, but it doesn't take it all the way down. It's just technology. It's frustrating sometimes. Well, good morning, Linda. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we're going to do a little collage and I was just talking about the drawing for um, my 500 subscribers. I'm giving away this little collage that I made. Um, the entire piece is about two and a half by three and a half inches. And, and I made it to actually fit in a very standard frame. So you can find a frame for that. And if you're interested in joining before I do the drawing, because I have to go get my tablet and, and to do it, um, you can go to last week's live replay and comment and just say that you would like to win. Um, and then that's where the I'm going to do the drawing from. I have to go get my tablet. I, I, I seriously, I'm always, I hate being unprepared. And I thought I was prepared, and I'm not. I have all of my supplies for the project today. I had my setup here. Oh, you can't see that. I have my setup here on the table. I had my camera hooked up. I had everything. I had my giveaway here. I had everything. But there's always something, always something that comes up that I seem to not be prepared for, whether it's for the volume that I can't get to shut up or um, having my tablet out here so that I can do the drawing. Um, anyway, actually, if I keep it here, maybe I can put it under that and you guys can see it. All right. So what I need to do is I need to go over to that particular, I'm going to go, let's see what it tells me to do. I looked it up today and I had it up. So I know it can be done. <laughs> drives me nuts too. There's a few things in life that drive me nuts um, and not being prepared is one of them. And I, I try, like I think I'm going to do it. Oh, Sharon, I'm glad that you got a nice sunny day. It's a beautiful sunny day here also. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So random comment picker is what we're going to look for. Random YouTube comment picker. All right, and then I think it'll tell me what to do once I get there. All right, I have to go get the 
Earl of that particular video. Oh, I didn't put my microphone back on. Let me put it back on so you can hear me. I've got my um, HEPA filter going today. It's my little white noise generator. So I fear that without the microphone, that may be all you were hearing. All right, let's go over. No, she did not want it. Can I do the other? Is that an option? It is an option. All right. Let's find my channel. There we are. My my avatar, or no, I don't know, whatever, the little image that comes up with my channel is when I had red hair. <laughs> I did it so that I could keep it very noticeably different from my other channel. All right, so last week's, that's the blog, this is the one. So it was layering paint and stencils number 86 is the one where we're going to look for the um, comments. Got another thing going on. Wait, paste. There we go. Use this out. Um, filter duplicate users. All right, it's doing its thing now. I don't know if you can see it under there. It won't let me put it all the way over, but you can see that I'm doing it. I'm telling it to get comments. Let's see. There's no, okay, amount of unique comments five on that video. All right, and you guys are ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Bam. Rebecca, Rebecca Lance, are you here today? You don't have to be here in order to win, but Rebecca Lance is the winner. Um, can you guys see that? Let's turn it around so you can see it. Yay, congratulations, Rebecca. I don't know if I have your information or not. Um, if I don't, I will reach out to you somehow and make sure that I get that information. But congratulations, Rebecca, and thanks for, thanks for coming to the lives. And thanks to everybody else who put in a comment and uh, to win. I appreciate you a lot. All right, so today what we're going to do is we are going to do, like I said, we're going to work on a collage very similar to the process that I used to make that. And I, in a live um, haul on my other channel the other day, I showed that I picked up these greeting cards. And I did it because one, I'm obsessed with, not greeting cards, playing cards. I'm obsessed with them. And two, because um, I thought that they would have some value and it turns out that they really don't have much value. So I'm going to use these guys as the bat basis for my collage. So I'm gonna pick three because I like to work. Um, from, I, I've done this where I've done three or I've done six. So we're gonna do three today. And I'm just gonna lay those out like that. Now, one thing that I am missing in the studio is I'm missing, um, I'm missing sandpaper. And um, so this has a very shiny surface on it. So I'm gonna have to figure out, and I'm trying to determine which way I wanna use. My, I like this side there. I might use that side there. 
We'll use that one. Anyway, um, I'll do it so you can see it. I brought my scissors over. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for purchasing that, Sharon. I appreciate that. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use my scissors to just kind of scuff up the surface a little bit. Um, and that's just so that things will stick. I'm not painting on them today, so I don't really have to worry about, like, these marks showing through. This is just so that things that I glue to the surface will stay stuck. And normally, I would use sandpaper. But I have learned over the years how to improvise. <laughs> When I used to do conventions with the magazine, I learned how to do all kinds of art with very limited supplies um, as I would travel basically with scissors and a glue stick and then whatever things were in the um, craft kits that I sold. And that was about it. So I learned to do a lot with just scissors and a stick. <laughs> lots and lots and lots. I may do, I don't know how to make do. Necessity is the mother of invention. All right, so I'm wiping off the um, excess stuff. All right, so I have if you're playing along at home, I'm going to put this where you can see. Um, I also have a whole bunch of different collage materials that I brought over. Um, this I'm probably going to use primarily. I like to use this is an old thesaurus. I'll pull papers from that. I like to use a variety of contrasting papers when I'm doing um, this like base collage. And the base collage actually is what, uh, and I love, 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 love her channel, Lori Marie Jenkins. She calls it underpants. Um, but essentially, it's just like a base layer of collage material. Let's see what else I have over here. I don't think I have a whole lot, actually, to be honest. I don't know where to put all the rest of my text papers. I have this. This might be a little, yeah, that's a, a little bit of a different, unless, did I, where did I put this? Oh, I know I kept this. So I may not use it. I'll show you. I really liked these um, quotes from Thomas Jefferson. So I don't know if I'm going to use them in another collage sometime. Or maybe, maybe I'll cut these out and use them. But this is from a paper. And I get my papers from all over the place. I recycle these things when I find them. Um, but this is like the Euclid Observer, so it's a um, locality on the um, east side of Cleveland. Yeah, I'm sure that's why. Oh, I wish I knew what I did with all my other. This is my little quad box. I must have moved away from all. Yeah, I think I kept that for a reason. Maybe. American Legion. Much to do with that last thing. I think it's really good. Okay. Anyway, oh well, that's the one I wanted to see. Gosh darn it, I like that. Ah, scissors will be helpful. 
cut this out. There was another, there was a thing about the flag that I thought would be a, a cool um, piece on a, on a um, patriotic collage of some sort. I'll show you what it is. And of course, I ripped it because I wasn't thinking. I'm trying to get it centered for you. I don't know if my phone will focus enough for you to read it. Anyway, my eye is looking better. It feels better as well. Um, so I have two rounds of antibiotics in me right now, and um, I think that's helped. The battle of the flag, it's the soldier, not the reporter, who has given us freedom of the press. It is the soldier, not the poet, who has given us freedom of speech. It is the soldier, not the campus organizer, who has given us the freedom to demonstrate. It is the soldier, not the lawyer, who has given us the right to a fair trial. It is the soldier who salutes the flag, who serves under the flag, and whose coffin is draped by the flag, who allows the protester to burn the flag. I thought that was a more nice um, thing. This was in there, um, Veterans Day? Yeah, November 2002 newspaper. But anyways, we're going to use one of these some of this in our collage. All right. <clears throat> Still woke up this morning with it all goopy, but now I can see out of it. Before, like I kept wanting to close my eyes and go to sleep because it was so swollen that I couldn't I couldn't see out of it. It's crazy. All right. So how I the whole idea of this particular technique, you guys, is that you do a series. So I'm going to put these together like this. And I am going to tear off pieces of this collage paper. And again, this is just from the thesaurus. I'm just going to glue it down kind of random on the, on these cards. So and what I'm doing, I'm just going to add the glue right to the paper. And I don't care. And actually, this is kind of fun because I'm doing this upside down for you. So it's going to have even a more random art result, which is kind of fun. This is, I don't know if I was going to call this anything. It'd be like a random, random art. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put down another one in a different place. Just tearing my papers up. Put this over here. I don't care really what the orientation of the text is. It can be upside down, sideways, backwards, it doesn't matter. And these first ones on purpose, I'm gluing over the cards where they attach because I want to kind of hold the whole thing together as a cohesive unit so that I don't have to worry about them coming apart. And I am going off the edge. Um, I think that's a very nice technique to do is to jump, jump things, get things to go off the side of the, the edge of things. And then when I'm done, I'll come back in and I'll cut them off. But, you know, in real life, everything doesn't fit neatly within the lines. And I think that's kind of an, almost an existential statement as well with life. It, you know, things don't fit neatly in the lines and we have to be able to uh, put that over there. We have to be able to work with what we're given and make something beautiful out of torn pieces, out of you know all kinds of stuff. Just trying to see it, see things in different ways. So next week. Um, Coffee and Creativity is going to be an interview with um, Jerry Taylor from A Happy Hoarder. 
And Jerry Taylor is an artist. She's also an art teacher and she makes amazing dolls. So you guys aren't gonna wanna miss that. I am going to be on the road next week, which is why I filmed it in advance because I am going to my daughter's commencement. My oldest daughter graduated from college last year um, and she, you know, being in the class of 2020, got, the word I wanted to use is screwed out of her graduation, um, like so many others did, um, not, not just graduation, but so many things in life people missed out on as a result of, of the pandemic. So um, they very kindly decided to add them to this year's graduation ceremonies, and they are in person, and we're going to go celebrate her amazing accomplishment um, and for my, my daughter, it really was an accomplishment. Um, she's a good student. She didn't really have problems in that arena, but she had some health issues that caused her to have to take about six years to get through school. So it's a big deal for her. It's quite an accomplishment, and uh, we need to go celebrate. I did celebrate with her last year. Any of you that follow me on my other channel, Mimi's Treasure Cottage, might have seen the video uh, my daughter and I met in Connecticut and uh, took a little vacation on the beach in Connecticut. And um, that was to celebrate her commencement, her graduation um, last year or so. But this year, my husband and I are both going to go see her and celebrate with her. It is exciting. It's, you know, it's monumental. And it's interesting, my youngest daughter, um, she's home right now. She goes to school in Louisiana and um, she will graduate next year. <laughs> and I had intended on going this year to visit her at school during parents week. And with the pandemic and everything that was going on, they didn't really have the parents thing like they normally do so we didn't get to go so I'm going to wind up doing that next year and it's going to be a busy travel year next year as well because um and I think she kind of was hoping that her dad would come to the um to the parents uh weekend next year but unfortunately my husband has very limited uh, vacation time when he was hired on to his job that he has now they he was hired on thinking that he had, I can't remember how many days it was. It might've been 20 days of paid time off. And that encompassed everything from sick days to vacation days, but it was 20 days. And my husband, my husband would work through the plague at home because he's a tech guy and he could. So it was great for him. It worked out. He didn't have to, to try to fight for extra vacation time to switch and, you know, okay. Well, the company that he is employed with is part of a larger company and the larger company changed things and, and is taking over more of a global approach to their benefits package and he lost the paid time off. So he only gets two weeks of vacation at our age, which is kind of ridiculous. So we went from 20 days of paid time off to two weeks of vacation. He gets six days too, don't, don't get me wrong, but it used to be that he could be sick or he could use them for vacation. And now he can only use them one way. Um, <laughs> I, I have a, um, what's it called? A jet pack for internet. So it's like a, it's a MiFi, it's, it's internet on the go. And <laughs> I would, <laughs> he's already asked for the time off and I don't think he wanted to risk it, but I, you know, it takes us, it's going to take us two days to get to, to Boston because we want to not have that long travel day on the day before her graduation, which is early in the morning. 
give us some buffer, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, <laughs> but, so we have two days of travel time and I have this internet on the go and everybody's working from home. Like literally I thought that he could have tried to maybe work from the car with the Wi-Fi, um, but sometimes it doesn't work. And um, so anyways, I don't think he's going to try that. I think he just straight up asked for vacation. So anyway, so I've got my stuff down. I like the fact that it's got some things left through through there. It has a little bit of contrast going on. Um, normally, I might use some, um, oh, you can throw in some song sheets, you know, things like that. Um, to make your collage. I I seriously don't know what I did. I have a package from it. Sorry, my head is on the off the side. Oh, I can find it. I need this. So one of my uh, viewer friends. One of my viewer friends, Maria, Maria Ladybug. Um, she sent me last year, I think it was last year, might have been two years ago. Maria was like the very first friend mail I ever got. It was awesome. And she sent me all of this stuff to use in my art. These are um, German scrap pieces, and I use these a lot. But let's see, I'm, I'm kind of like in the color combination of this. I don't have the right blue out right now, or I would do that. Um, Maybe that's another technique I'll show you. It's been shown before numerous times, but you guys might enjoy it. Um, and then this is just a piece of thing that I've stamped on ahead of time. Sometimes I use that, put that aside, muddying up my view there. What the heck happened there? Well, let's see if I can go out and come back in. I don't like that. Did it just do that? Uh, I'm going to have to go out and come back in. I can't stand it. Go out and come back in. It's hot. I have a Samsung. My phone is very hot. Let's see if it does it properly now. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know why I flipped the orientation all of a sudden. Maybe because it was getting warm. Oh my gosh. Darn it. Look at that big again. I hate Bixby. And I had learned once how to fix that Bixby thing. Like I thought I had disabled the little button and now it's back okay so now we're back in the normal orientation of course i'm getting warm because i have my door closed so i either fight with heat or cold here in my in my office <laughs> um when it started the weather changed again it's they had the air conditioning on so it would be 60 degrees outside and it was freezing in the office and um today it was on heat, which was nice. I came in and it was nice and warm. But the problem is it's sunny outside. And so the sun comes through my windows and it heats this space up. Now I'm warm. I'm so warm. Okay. Um, anyway, all right. So this is not too bad. This little piece of paper. What else I have? I have some craft paper I could tear up and include. Might be interesting. Okay, let's get started. We're going to tear up some of this and maybe some of the craft paper just to add some interest. I'm going to take this. And um, if I tear to me, I'm going to see the white. If I tear away from me, I'm not going to see the white. Can you see the difference there? So this was torn to me and this was torn away from me. So I'm gonna tear away from me so that I don't 
get that white. And I can, I do have my inks with me. I can ink up, and I probably, I'm going to try this. I'll use that later. So I'm going to use that. I'm just going to glue that down here. You know, it's funny. My phone is actually, I hate getting new phones all the time just for, you know, silly reasons. But it does have its work. My actual phone dialing thing isn't has issues. Um, that would be solved, I'm sure, if I got a new phone. But, you know, I really shouldn't have to buy a new phone every two years. I hate that. I don't know why they do that. And it is a thing. Like, I think there's lawsuits out there for um, not this company, phone company, but another one, which I won't name. <laughs> I'm sure I'll know which one it is, for um, doing that, for putting stuff in the phone, phone or whatever, to make it so that you have to get a new phone. They just start going bad after a certain amount of time. It's kind of stinky. All right, so I have my little uh, Distress Ink rocker. And this is just my Distress Ink. And this one I, is a uh, vintage photo, if any of you are interested. And I am going to use this piece, but I'm going to darken that white edge because I don't like it. Glue that up there. So really all I'm doing here, the only purpose for this is just to add a little bit of interest with the color. Because I'm just what did I determine? If I tear it away from me. I don't see the white. It says there are six people out there in the chat. So maybe people are, I know that I think some people watch while they're working. <laughs> and there's the, and you, oh shoot, still did it wrong. I thought I tore it. Just everybody's hanging out, watching, and not not commenting. All right. Oh, that's interesting. It's not my phone. I don't know. Can you guys see that that text is backwards on this on this paper? <laughs> Um, oh, which is an interesting thing, by the way. For those of you who have channels or thinking of starting a channel, whatever, there is a setting in everyone's phone that you can turn your um, selfie to mirror image so that it, or change it from mirror image, I should say, remove that, so that when you're looking at things that have text on it, you don't see it backwards. Um, I don't know. That's a little pet peeve of mine. It drives me crazy when I'm watching videos and the text is backwards. There is a setting, and I don't remember where it is, but um, like with anything in the world, it's very easy to Google and find out information that you need to know. Yeah. Tell ya. I'm going to put that off the page so you won't see it. Yeah, it's there because the other thing you all should know if you're considering starting a channel is that, um, and it's different based on the platforms that you're on, but when you're filming for YouTube, you've got to make sure that your phone is horizontal so that it fills the screen. If you're filming for Instagram, on the other hand, you want it to be straight up and down because it's only the square, and then that way you have more of a more control over what is going to be what's going to be in your 
what's going to be in your uh, viewfinder on the screen. That is something to get used to. All right, so I got a little bit of interest now going on with some color. See how I just added the little color pieces there. So got that. All right, so let's stencil. To add some interest, another layer by stenciling on top. And I brought some of my stencils with me. I told you I was prepared for this part. <laughs> I really do try to prepare ahead of time. Oh, you know what? I just found something else that I have over here to use, which I think might work really nicely in this because of the colors. This is ledger paper, and since we're going with this green color, I'm going to add a little bit of that. I think that'll look fun. Let's put that there. Right there. Maybe a little piece up here. Oh, good job, New England Tucker. Remind me what your first name is. At some point, I'm going to get organized enough to do um, some sort of an assemblage piece here on my channel. Um, and eventually, I am going to do Zoom classes. You don't know when that's going to be. You know, I keep thinking that I'm going to get comfortable with my schedule here. And then every time I think that I'm in a routine and I'm going to be comfortable with my schedule, I have something come up and totally screw it up. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are very familiar with how that happens in life. Life in general, when things just happen, it's great screw things up. And I like to work in odd numbers. It's, it is a design thing. But keep in mind that these are going to be cut off. So on this one, I have, I only have the one piece there. On this one, I have two, two pieces of that. And on this one, I have one. So I think we're good. I think I'm going to leave it like, well, I actually kind of like the idea of having something here. Let's see. <laughs> no idea what you're doing. You know what? You don't have to know what you're doing. I swear that some of the best things that happen in art are when you're experimenting. You know, when you're just trying out new things. That's kind of what happened with that pandemic prints thing that I came up with that if you go back in my videos you'll find that little technique tidbit that I did that was totally by accident and from experimentation um, and I like I really like a lot how that came out and the possibilities with that technique you make a video what not to do <laughs> so a lot of my stuff is don't do this yeah the longer you do it those types of things are easy to pass on your knowledge of. Here, I tried this, screwed it up, don't do it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I could do those as well. I already have numbers over there. But I have actually been doing professional art, if you will. I've been in the arts and crafts world for more than 20 years. Um, I have always been a creative. I've always been a maker, you know. Um, I started off crafting, doing craft shows and, um, you know, that sort of stuff, the kind of stuff you'd find in a bazaar or whatever, things that you can just assemble and put together. And then that just um, kind of segued into the more creative um, artistic things 
you know, one of a kind things. Um, but where was I going with that? Oh, being in the arts and crafts world for 20 years. So in 20 years time, I've learned a lot of things not to do. Um, yeah, in the various realms that I've been in. So it is fun to, you know, to share those types of things as well. Of course, I like to share what to do. And then in the process, you can tell them what not to do. All right, so Helen is New England thrifter. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> All right, so we got this. Let's look again. Oh, we were going to stencil. Let's stencil. So this is one of my favorite things to use, and this is just sequin waste. They also call it punchinella. I'm going to lay that down, and I didn't bring over. I do have, I didn't know I was working with green today, so I didn't bring over green um, ink. I could always get up and go, but I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to use the Distress ink again on this. And just, I'm just going to add some of this punchinella here and there. Like that. Ooh, that's nice and dark. Juicy, juicy. So I got a little bit on that one, a little bit on that one, a little bit on that one. I might come down here in the corner and add some down there. And then up here. And we can always layer this. Sorry. Wow. Let's try to not do that. <laughs> we can always layer the. Um, stenciling as well. I have two different um, colors of brown. I have Saison brown here, the timber, and um, this is a bit darker. So by doing that, I can add a little bit of um, dimension to my stenciling as I'm layering it. And then this, you, you'll see that I did it really light, lightly. So um, that adds a little bit of dimension also. So I have that stencil. I don't think I'm going to use the flower, which is the other one that I brought over with that one. Um, let's try the little bitty dots. Let's try the little bitty dots. Yeah. Where did I put them? Pretty sure I brought them over. These are not the ones that I'm. Oh, here they are. I like these. Um, I'm going to try the little bitty dots. And my stays on. I'm actually going to use a different. Um, oh, hey, I got a tip for you guys. And I haven't done it because I don't have it here in the studio. This is a brand new, very juicy stays on ink pad that I bought. But it comes with this little lid that you want to keep on your ink pad. And the problem is, is that you notice when I took that lid off, that kind of it dislodges and it comes loose and it's just annoying. But what somebody showed me years ago at one of my conventions was to take little um, pop dots, and I have the little square adhesive dots, and you can attach, well, you could actually attach it here because that's flat. You can attach this, well, you still need a pop dot. Attach this to the lid of your Stazon ink pad, and then every time you take it off and put it on, it will automatically cover your stays on ink pad and it doesn't get lost. You don't have to peel it off. Um, you know, so that's kind of kind of cool. Linda Punky, thanks for mentioning that because oh I now I see it. I, I'm just using Elmer's glue. This is just this uh, this kind of glue right here. I do prefer if I'm doing something really arty, I do prefer Juhu glue sticks. I have a few of them. I don't know where they're at, though. But any old glue stick, you know, will do the trick. And I'm telling you, I, like I mentioned before, I used to do this kind of stuff at the conventions that I would go to. And I was really limited in supplies. And so I learned to use just whatever I had on hand and so, um, or whatever I could get easily at Walmart or wherever. So this is it. Um <laughs> What's your new favorite YouTube channel? Did I miss it? You can share. I'd like to know. 
Um, anyway, so we're going to use this darker one. I don't want to use it with the um, that that I've been using. So, oh, I got something else fun I can use. I just saw something I brought over. So I'm just going to use a makeup sponge. And I like to make my makeup sponges last longer by cutting them. So then I can use them more than one time. So I'm just going to use it on here. And I've discovered that this is ridiculously dark, like really, really dark. So I'm going to stamp off. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, it's just a nice different. It's a different. Uh, I'm doing it again. I'm so sorry. You'll have to figure out. I'm gonna get a floor mount, I think, for my camera, and that should solve that shaking problem. I guess I didn't have it juicy enough there. Let's see how crazy juicy it gets if I. Oh, but yeah, yeah, I like this better. I don't know if you can see it. I like this muted. Let's see. There you go. Right where my thumb is, I like that muted a little bit better than I like this really dark stuff here. But it wasn't picking it up before. Let's try. See if we can get it. Oh, see, it didn't come through. Maybe I just have to press harder after I wipe off. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, it's still not. It's not exactly where I want it to be. I want a happy. I want a happy medium, and I don't want to shake my table like I'm shaking it. And I apologize. I don't like that. Okay, we're adding. It's, it's working. I just have to press a little bit hard. Oh, that might be too dark. I don't like that. I can cover this up. See how dark that is? It's not, it is not what I'm going for at this stage. Now that I have that there, I'm going to need to put another little dark element down here. And then I can cover one later if I want to. But that's still a little bit too dark. But you know, you gotta roll with it sometimes. Pretend it's what you intended. That's what I used to tell my kids in my drawing classes all the time, you know. If you don't like it, try to change it. If you can't change it, pretend that it's what you intended it to be. Um, because nobody really knows what your um what your intent was. Um coffee and creativity. Oh, this is my new favorite channel. <laughs> I guess it didn't occur to me that you were talking about this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was that's kind. I like that. Um, the painting behind me. So these are my artworks here. This, I believe, is probably this one that you're talking about. This is a um, railroad terminal station, whatever, and it's in the national park that's here by my house the Cuyahoga Valley National Park, um, one of my favorite areas. I actually went and I did a plain air competition there the year my dad died. Um, he was in the hospital at the time. I call this painting, it's called My Therapy, because it was uh, very helpful to be able to be outside there and doing that painting at that time. And um, unfortunately, I was unable to complete the competition because um, my dad took a turn for the worse in the hospital. And, and he actually, he wound up passing away right after that. Um, and the people there were so kind to me. I contacted them again after spending all the time on the painting. They allowed me to go back and they allowed me to finish it. It's finished. Um, and here, let's do this. They allowed me to finish it. And they allowed me to display it um, in the gallery showing, but I was not allowed to be part of the competition, which I thought was very fair. Um, not that my work <laughs> was going to get any prizes anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I was very happy with that. But that's that. And then this one I did, and there's a video on, on this channel on Cindy Duncan Arts um, about 
this one that I did. It was a vlog of a couple summers ago when I did that one. And then this is a collage. This is the kind of thing that I'm doing now, actually. It's very similar, but I have na napkin decoupage on this one. And then this one up there is a beach scene. And that was from my very, oh, I'm going to see. That one was from my very first um, painting class. It was a, an outdoor painting class, painting in the park. Um, it wasn't the first oil painting class that I took. I have that some, somewhere. I think I've showed that in another video, but that was from that. And I might, I think I've shown all of these in another video. That piece right up there, that actually is bead embroidery that I did. Um, so those are all my little pieces that are up there. All right, so let's put this back in here. So this is where we're at with this little collage piece. And then I'm going to take out... I'm going to look at those German scrap pieces again and see what I like for, and, oh yeah, actually no, I'm jumping ahead of myself. I said while we were talking before that I found something else that I thought I might want to put in here, although I might want to add texture with this, so maybe I do want to put my scrap pieces on first. Let's do that. Let's look at what I got here. Okay, so I love the children. I don't know if you can see them through the glare. I take them out. I love these, but I'm not sure that um, these are going to work for me. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Put it back in there. Um, <laughs> look at her. Her with the hat. Can you see her? She's too big, though. Definitely too big. But some of these smaller pieces might work on there. Let's pull them out and see what we think. I like the girl with the basket. This one's cute too. It has the right colors. This one maybe not so much. We'll, we'll keep this one in mind. I'm gonna keep this here. This one I love these, the little gnomes and everything, but it's not really what I'm going for here. So we'll put that aside. These have about the right colors. And I'm you see these guys? And that's not too bad. I didn't use them before. Oh, yeah, I might use these. I haven't used any of those yet. I didn't use them in my other collage pieces because I was working on a much smaller um, size. And I didn't like that I was going to lose most of these images. So I think I'm going to use these. Yeah. This is back the other later. All right, so put that back there. All right, so when I'm using these, I when I go to put them down, I'm not really well. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me cut them out. <laughs> no. Which one do I like? I like them all. I like our little steamship. I'm cutting out this little steamship guy here. And I'm going to trim them a little bit closer after I get them off. There's that one. And then he's cute with the balloon. Can you see him with the balloon? So I got another steamship guy over there. And you can. And then she kind of goes along with them with her coloring her. I'm going to take her out and do her as well. So what I started to say, and I got ahead of myself, is that I'm... I did three because I want elements of each of these on each one of these cards after I cut them out. But I also don't like to be too mindful of their position. So when I cut them apart, it's possible that I'm going to cut off pieces of them. 
and that's fine. This is kind of, this is like a random, random art project. This is a random collage, which may be what I'm going to name it. So the idea is to just, um, tell if that's for that tab, it is. You just lay it all down and then the art just happens. I'm going to go cut it over here so you can see it. And then I'll just shake off the little pieces. Of course, many of you are looking at my monster sized scissors and going, Don't you use smaller scissors for that? <laughs> yes, I would, except I don't have any here at the studio. Oh. We have any here at the studio. All right, I don't remember where I had these. Do I have them here? I have them here. We'll put her in the middle. That's not how I had it, but that's what we're going to do. If I remember and I don't shake them off. So that's why I don't want to. I'm going to move this aside. See? I learned. <laughs> And learn. But yeah, you definitely using smaller scissors for this um, fiddly work. This um, there's a word for this. I don't know what it's called. This close cutting is helpful because, for instance, I would love to get that little piece out of there that's part of the tab see it and I'm not going to be able to get that out of there because these scissors will not go in there so it's going to stay I don't really notice my eye unless I'm looking down and then I notice it All right, I don't want to place them too carefully because if I place them too carefully, then it's no longer random, is it? I like how she's looking to the side, though, and he's not, so he's going to be here. Oh, you know what? Let's put that off because then nobody's going to see that. I'll put that. Alright, like that. Alright, so I'm gonna glue them down with my little blue stick. Hobby Lobby. Yeah, I like the stuff that they have at Hobby Lobby also. It's funny, our Hobby Lobby, I don't know if they're all the same though, has a very um, extensive selection. But they only have one or two of each of the things that they have, which I suppose is not too bad because that allows you to be able to get whatever you want. Um, but if you ever are trying to buy large quantities of anything for classes or anything, it's not the place to go. Discover that the hard way. <laughs> Yeah, I got glue all over my. I do okay with with this on my mat as long as I don't have um, inks or something like that that are going to rub off on my piece. And I definitely don't want to turn my piece upside down. But notice I'm gluing in places where I haven't glued before. As I am turning it upside down. I did have to wash this off recently. And I know all of you are going, don't you wash it off every single time? No, I don't. I don't wash my stencils either. Um, but I had some sort of a, 
I had some sort of a um, water soluble ink on there and it moved and got all over some piece that I was working on. But I do like accidental art. So it didn't destroy the project. And if I were ever doing something that I needed to make sure that I didn't do that with, I would definitely um, do it differently. I wouldn't use this sort of a setup. But for me, it works. Because that's what I like. Alright, so I got these focal images down here on there. You can see them. And I did kind of keep in mind, I mean, they're, they're somewhat random, but there should be one on each one of the um, spaces. And I'm going to go in now. I'm going to put some texture on them. And I'm also going to use, I have this stencil that I really like. This is text, but it's not really. I mean, you can read a few things. Like you can read the and only, but I don't think it really says anything. Um, but it comes in handy to just, you know, add some dimension again to the page. And I'm going to use my dark shade on. And I'm going to use it dark this time because I do want this to show up. See, I like that. I'm going to do it over here. And that's what I'm talking about, about layering our stencils. So we've got um, different colors of this brown going on, different colors. Um, different values. All right, so I've got the other put one down here. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, yeah, I want to put this in here in some fashion. I may have to turn it around to look at it. Although, maybe I shouldn't because we're doing random art, right? Let's see what we can do with random. Let's put it right there. Let's keep it random. Let's keep it random. I'm going to put this right there. And if you haven't, I've done this te tissue technique before, so this is something that's not new. I love to put texture on a piece by putting down glue and tissue and it can be any kind of a tissue and then I just scrunch it up into the thing and I may have mentioned before that I learned this technique and I think I couldn't remember her name but I know it now <laughs> she was like the queen of altered books back in the day and her name was Beth Cody B-O-T-E and that's where I learned this technique from and I've seen it a million and one different places since then, and I have used it over and over and over again. Um, it's a very common technique, but that is where I picked it up from, was from Beth Cody. Beth Cody used to um, also have a column in my magazine as well. And what I'm going to probably do with the excess here, but I'm not going down, I don't like how that's a lot more texture there, is I will probably um, I'll cut off the excess. Sometimes I like it when the edges are loose, though. All right, so I got two there. So I've got some that'll be going on in that one, some that'll be going on in that one. And I might put some over here right there. Okay. All right, so I got that. And Depending on what you're going for, those of you that might try this later on your own, you can take this texture technique 
and I might have shown this the last time I showed the technique itself as a tidbit, but you can go over top of this with your ink pad or even um, like chalks or something and accent the texture a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do that here, at least not at this point, because what I'll do once I get all my little random elements in, which I may be done with the random stuff, I may be done. I think, yeah, I think I'm going to be done. Um, what's my time to, okay, yeah, I'm going to be done. So now that I have this, this triptych basically going on, but we don't know it's a triptych yet because it's just one big collage, but it is on the back of three cards. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut them apart. And they cut apart pretty easily. And I'm not too concerned if I cut the card itself. Everybody's going to see that card anyway. Okay. So now I have three individual collages. And I didn't know exactly where these images were going to be. I knew that there would be one on each one. But I did not know where they were going to be. Now we're not totally done because I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut off the excess paper too. I need my glasses. Since my eyes aren't working, I can't see. There we go. I can't see that well. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim off the excess that we have going on here. And that's what I have there. I, I like that as it is, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, change it a little bit. Oh, these came out really cute. I'm real pleased with these. Is that one? <laughs> so I like that we get together every Thursday and we do this because I've been having a hard time because of everything going on in my life and in the other business. I'm actually making the time to create art here in my art studio. So by getting together with you guys, I actually am creating, and it's a nice feeling. So I got this one. She's a little. She's got this piece, and I, like I said, sometimes I like that, and sometimes I don't. In this case, I'm gonna glue it down. Yeah. All right. So I got all of these. Now each one of these. You know what, I could go in here and, and um, back it. I'm looking at your comment, Sharon. Um, and I might, uh, if I, but see, if I was gonna sell this piece, I would mount it anyway, so the back doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Now, if I was using this as an artist trading card, and you guys might be familiar with artist trading cards or ATCs, this is exactly the size of an artist trading card. Um, these playing cards are, are the size. Um, so I could, trade it um, as it is. And if I were to have done that, I would have um, probably finished the back, either sanded and painted it or um, added uh, just a solid, you know, some sort of solid backing on it and then find it. But so each one of these is, is a really fun collage in its own right. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in because you guys have heard me say this before um, in the song. I always forget how the song goes, but if you love something, you put a ring around it, you put a ring on it, and it reminds me of the Beyonce song. Um, so I'm going to come in here. I'm probably going to do two different colors. That's often what I do, but I'm going to come in here first with my uh, vintage photo distress ink. And I'm going to edge it. And I've heard people say, and I try it, and it works wonderfully when it works, to take your your um, applicator and start off of the piece and pull it in. And like I said, when it works, it's beautiful, and I love it. But it doesn't always work for me. The, and I'm sorry for the shaking. Again, I'm going to get that floor mount, and then we'll fix that problem. Um, I'm trying to not move as much. So I don't like the fact that it grabs on my card. And then depending on what material I'm using, sometimes it'll grab and it'll ruin, it'll destroy. So it's not always possible to do that technique. But when you do use it, and then this one's a little sturdier of a piece, so it's working out pretty good. Um, it's really nice because then you don't have the marks, like the stop and start marks from your, your edging. So I always tend to gravitate to these um, muted, to this muted color palette with the browns and stuff. Or if you've watched some of my other little tidbit popping creativity, I um, sometimes when I'm pulling out paint, I, I tend to be in the brighter palette. But when I'm collaging, I tend to go here. And let's see if we can make it focus a little bit better. Let's see if you can see this. So this is her. And she's edged with the... Um, yeah, that would be cute, Sharon. But again, I'm probably going to mount these and sell these as as collage pieces as opposed to just a standalone um, APC or something. But that would be really cute. Um, if you guys are trying that at home, what, what Sharon said about punching a hole in it. And um, yeah, that would be cute. That would be very cute. I'm going to come in. We're going to do this. I'm trying not to. Gosh darn it. Man, that shakes a lot. I did find there's a really uh, nice floor-mounted phone stand that I was looking at that I might pick up. I'm laughing to myself. <laughs> I'll share what I'm laughing at inwardly. So next weekend, I'm going to be in Boston for my daughter's commencement. And... <laughs> um, I was just wondering to myself if my family would let me go sourcing, if I'm going to be able to do any sourcing while I'm out there, because I usually source on the weekends. So that's going to be an issue if I can't source, unless I find lots of stuff this weekend. Because on my other channel, when I do my sales, I usually pull 30 to 50 items um, to sell. So that's the thing. So I'm not done with my um, with my ring, my border. If you will. I'm, not, I'm not done with it. I'm going to do another another part to it. It's always nicer to see on your end the image in the orientation that you expect it to be in. And of course, that uh, German scrap is a little shiny, so this doesn't really stick to it that well. It does a little bit, but it really picks it up nicely in the other part of the um, collage. 
So I like to do this particular, this random art technique, and I like to do it in a series like this because if I'm selling this now, I've got this fun little series, and they're not totally finished here, of works that somebody could buy together. Actually, put her over there. I like the way they look at each other. Um, you know, they could buy together or they could buy singly, um, but it wor they work together. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stays on. And the other thing is if you attach it with the little um, adhesive, it helps you to be able to open it easier. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to edge that as well. And it just adds that darker, just adds a little bit. Oh, and I like it kind of grabbed that tissue a little bit as I was edging which is fine by me. I'm all about the accidental, the accidental art. Okay, so it's very subtle. But I think it adds a nice, um, it finishes it. Finishes it very nicely. I'm so happy to have these. I don't know if Maria will watch it after the fact. She does watch this channel. I am so happy to have this scrap. I've used this a lot. These are such wonderful images. And they're the perfect size for me to use. I would love to see if you guys actually do do some of these. Um, if you send them to me, well, some of you have, have my email address, both of them. I probably don't look at the Cindy Duncan Arts email address, so Mimi's Treasure Cottage, if you're going to send them by email, would be better. Or you can direct message me on Instagram, Cindy Duncan Arts, and show me what you've done, because that would be really cool. And or tag me if you have an Instagram and you post them, you know, then just mention... Um, that, you know, you saw it here and that you, get, you know, tried your hand at it or whatever and then tag me. That would be cool. All right. So that's them. Now, they're not completely finished. And I'm not going to completely finish them here. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do to them um, to finish them. Get them all there. There we go. I think you can see them. Um, I think they need some sort of a sentiment. Okay, so it may be a one-word sentiment. Probably will be a one-word sentiment. But I'm going to come back in and I'm going to find something to add to them. And then that'll be um, the finished piece there. So, uh, But hopefully, you know, I mean, I'd love to see if you guys go out and try that out. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Um, and again, that's my favorite way of doing collage is the little random things, because I find if I overthink things, um, sometimes I get into trouble. <laughs> I need to not, not overthink things but while keeping some design elements in mind. You know, I think that the, the composition is not too bad here. We've got a focal point on each one. We've got a little bit of color. We've got the, you know, the added things. And it is hard when you're using the, um, the rule of threes or the, you know, rule of odd numbers in your um, design because, and you're doing this random art thing because I could put three on this whole thing, but that doesn't mean that that's going to be three on my piece. For example, I only have two of this color there or, and I only have one of this color there. Now that is a, an odd number. So it, it works for that. There's only one there. Um, but that's kind of the beauty of this is that it's just kind of odd. Um, and I did, you know, I mean, it's, it was random, but not so random. I did make sure that I had some of this texture in each one of the spaces that I was making. But notice that this texture, it continues from this one over to this one. So it goes across, as does this, that, 
um, piece right there and then we cut it apart. So we didn't know exactly when, when laying them out how that was going to work. Um, same thing over here, you got a little bit underneath there. So I really enjoy that. I think it's a really fun way to make art and um, you guys can try that as well. So next, let me tell you what's coming up. So rem rem just a reminder that next Thursday morning is going to be the um, interview with Jerry Taylor. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy that. And I'm going to try to do that periodically. I've reached out to a few other artists to see if they could join me. And of course, uh, most people can't join me in the morning. So I have to find times to, and they can't join me live, um, have to find times in order to film them um, and then replay them later. But we could do that. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then um, my other channel, Mimi's Treasure Cottage, I absolutely forgot to mention it last time on the channel, which I should have. But my next week's sale is not going to be in the evening. It's not going to be Wednesday night. It's going to be Tuesday morning. So at the same time slot that I have this, uh, Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern on my other channel. And sooner or later, I'm going to have to remember to make a little banner for that. But I think most of you know that other channel. So, um, But next Tuesday morning, it'll be over there. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Everybody that stops in after the fact, thanks for uh, hanging out until the end. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope you keep checking back. There will be no vlog this week. Um, I just was unable with everything that was going on to really work on that. So there's no vlog this week, but next week we'll come back with the um, interview with Jerry Taylor. And um, perhaps a vlog, depends on what goes on uh, tomorrow and Monday. We'll see. Um, but thanks for coming. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.